Leonardo da Vinci has been described as one of the greatest minds of the era of the Renaissance. He was an incredible painter and inventor during the height of his time, that would go on to change the course of history in the modern world with his new masterful techniques in paintings, and inventions of all kinds. Yet despite his incredible reputation and wide variety of uni talents, the life of the master has been shrouded in mysteries that scholars are still trying to understand in the modern day. What some are not aware of is that for a brief moment of his life, Leonardo da Vinci worked as a chief military engineer for the Italian army, and worked at designing new and innovative weapons to assist with the influence of his country. This led to a wide variety of new and interesting designs created by the inventor to help with war efforts whenever necessary. Many of these designs include helicopter-like aerodynamic machines capable of flying, large catapults and engineered ways to get over large stone walls without sacrificing any men. After Leonardo da Vinci was put in charge of a pageant in Milan by the Duke at the time, he felt compelled to design an interesting machine that could replicate the movements of a man, while being completely independent. This led to the design of a suit of armour filled with mechanical gears, and wheels connected to an internal pulley and cable system that could do a variety of functions on its own. Back in 2002, Mark Rossum discovered several of these gnomes, and used the designs to recreate the robot in the modern day. Not only did he find the robot was completely balanced, but it was also capable of independent motion such as walking, waving, sitting down, standing up and moving its head and lifting its visor. Leonardo da Vinci is now in the news for something a little different. A lock of his hair was recently discovered in a private collection in the US, and researchers have said they want to study it. The reason behind this is to help the researchers confirm the identity of Leonardo da Vinci's modern day descendants. Not only this, but also to confirm whether the bones that are said to be his are in fact genuine. One of the researchers said the following in a statement. We found across the Atlantic a lock of hair historically tad as Leonardo da Vinci, and this extraordinary relic will allow us to proceed to carry out research on da Vinci's DNA. This relic is what we needed to make our historic research even more solid from a scientific point of view. We are planning to carry out DNA analysis on the relic, and compare it to Leonardo's living descendants, as well as bones found in Leonardo da Vinci's burials that have been identified over the years. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.